What up guys, how's it going? Astro Manny here back with another video and today we are sitting on the 890 jump and sitting with our beautiful ships and origin in it it up all the origin ships we got the m50 we got the 85x we got the 890 jump you know how we do it around here origin 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 anyways today is going to be a special start to a brand new series of mine i'm going to be doing it's it's kind of not brand new but it's it's new and it's official and i'm going to start and do everything so today we're going to do vhrt's and we're going to test out a ship and that ship is going to be here the the m50 and we're going to use the M50 and we're going to do VHRTs. And this is a showcase of the M50. We're going to talk about the M50. We're going to showcase the M50. We're going to talk about its builds and do all that. And then we're going to go take it out and do VHRTs on it. And I'm going to give it a rating. Okay. And then I'm going to go through every single ship, uh, even the ones I've already done. We're going to redo everything and go through every single ship one by one and test them and give them a VHRT test and talk about their builds and bring up Urkel and everything. So that's what I'm going to do before we hop in the ship. Actually, I lied. That's not what I'm going to do before we hop in the ship. First, we're going to talk about the ship. Okay, look, there's the beautiful 890, there's 85X. Don't, don't worry about that thing over there. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so here we are with the M50, right? It is gorgeous. It is a racer ship classified as a competitive racer of the origin. And, um, it is the smallest of the origin ships, uh, the and it's got the smallest guns. Well, I don't know about that necessarily, but anyways, um, it's a quick little buggy. It's it's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and hop in it. So there's only one seat, I believe. Yep, see the one the one seat there, and so one pilot, and it's only got a cockpit. As you can see, this is what the cockpit view looks like. Uh, it does its thing and it's gorgeous and it's got four screens that's cool it's always nice to have four screens and um, we'll go into third person mode real quick and this is it right here get a nice view of it we'll, we'll get plenty of view while we're in combat as well so this is it this is really all I can do about showcasing some of the smaller ships I just give you the views of it and look at those beautiful dual powerful engines in the back and just it's just the visuals of it so we'll, we'll look at it again while we're floating in space and not on the landing strip or anything so uh, stay tuned for that as well but this is the look of it and I showed you guys the inside of it this is the inside of it the cockpit and um, all that whatnot so now let's talk about the guts and stuff and usually I do it through here I show you guys on the um, screens here and, and I could definitely do that you know like by doing this and showing you JS 300 and all that and whatnot but we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, do it a little bit different. I'm going to set up my screen so that they're already set up. I always run comms so that the computers don't bug me. And then I have my target screen, self-target shield. That's the way I like to do it. Now, what we're going to do, see here, is I'm going to pull over this screen. Boom. All right. So now you guys are looking at this big old bad boy here, right? All right. So this is the stock m50 okay it comes with the m4a laser cannons and it comes with two missiles yes this ship has two missiles and then it comes with these stock shields and the power plant all size one components and we're not running stock currently we're going to talk about the build this is the stock build okay so if you are doing pve content which is what we're doing i would just stick with the m4a lasers the m4a laser cannons those are more than enough to do the work and get the job done. And uh, since you're in a fast, nimble ship, you can go ahead and use cannons and not lose out on DPS and things like that. And they'll do a little bit more damage than the laser repeaters. So I would go with the laser cannons. You can also mess with this over here to see your DPS calculations there over on the on the right and stuff. But this isn't a tutorial on how to use Urkel. This is just showing builds, okay? So we just leave the missiles uh, stock because there's they're just size one missiles, two size one missiles, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we do the standard FR-66 build as usual. And you can see that you can pick these up at Crows and Crows or Platinum Band Crew 1. Power plant. Uh, you do not have to change the power plant. You can leave it completely stock. 
but I have the, the JS300 in it just to have that extra military grade, which the only thing this does is it protects you a little bit more from distortion damage. It gives you more HP towards distortion damage and things like that, and more base HP in general. It doesn't really do anything else for your ship. Coolers, leave those stock. It's a waste of money to change out coolers, just leave those stock. Quantum Drive, uh, it's a size one ship, so usually you go with the Atlas. That's the standard Quantum Drive to go with when you're using size one ships, and you only get that at Hero 5. And that's basically it, guys. So this is what I would run if you're doing a PVE build. Now, the build we're running today, we are running laser repeaters. Okay, so there are a couple laser repeaters here. They're all the same, attrition's, badgers and and ndbs we are running the ndbs just for the extra flare because they shoot out blue so the laser repeaters i would recommend for a pvp build we are doing pve we are not doing pvp so i should be running the m4a's i should be running the laser cannons i should be but i kind of use this ship more often to shoot other players so uh, we're running the laser repeaters and we're going to see how it goes and we're going to test it with the laser repeaters and just see how well it is. So uh, um, that's Urkel. That's a little change in things for, uh, for our videos. We don't normally go on to web pages and stuff, but there's that, guys. So let's get into the actual game now. Uh, also, you can see here the capacitor uh, for the laser repeaters. 57 shots because you only have two size twos okay so your dps is garbage okay that's the problem with the m50 is your dps is garbage but you have lots of shots in your magazines which means you get to keep on target and just keep on blasting and just keep on them so that's the great thing about this here in the m50 and that's 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 where it shines and um, we're going to hopefully make that happen so we're going to get right into it like i said we're going to go into our contracts and why did I, why am i missing so much money What did I buy recently? I had 10 mil. Don't know. Not that big of a deal. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, our bounty hunting. We're gonna do a VHRT group mission, 61K. You know how we do it. We're gonna grab that. I'm gonna accept that. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna grab our call to arms. Always grab your call to arms. And there you go, we are all set up. And let's go get it. Let's take off and uh, show this bad boy off all right so here we are uh, engines on here we go and then voila look at that oh yeah oh yeah here's the 890 this 890 has been through a lot there's a whole story with this 890 um, stay tuned for more eight living on the 890 episodes there are more of that coming there is zero to hero on its way there's all kinds of new content guys i'm back from vacation we're having a great time let's go get them all right so yes wonderful vhrts vhrts and uh zero to hero and 890 jump episodes all kinds of crazy content live streams all that stuff they're all coming they're all on their way back from vacation woo let's go Let's get back into the business, guys. So, for sure, look forward to all that. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you guys are doing, if you guys uh, are enjoying the series of uh, Astro Man Goes Rogue, because that's going to finish up eventually, and just all kinds of cool content that we're going to be doing. Uh, smash that like button for VHRTs and the ship spotlights, or ship showcases, and showing off ships and whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and set my limiter to like 75%. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. All that cool stuff. You know, hit that bell for alerts. Let you know when I go live. All those things. Uh, we're going to set our flares to 2 by pressing Alt, right Alt H to put flares to 2. We are running fixed size 2 guns. There are no gimbals. We are not running gimbals on this ship. And it only has two missiles. So it's going to be rough, guys. So I'll tell you that right now. This ship is not built for VHRTs. This ship is not built for this. And this is what I was afraid of. Our first target is a Reclaimer. 
I don't know how we're gonna kill this room later. <laughs> All right, this is what I was afraid of. It's gonna be okay, guys. It's gonna be okay. So here we go. We're just gonna go and take out this saber here because he's gonna be the most troublesome. They don't seem to be awake yet. I don't know what's going on. The server uh, was pretty nice when I started. But you can see that. See, look at all those shots we get in. And then it's just, we just stay on them. Just stay on them. The DPS is not the greatest, but the fact that we are in such a nimble and amazing ship, we're just going to stay on them and keep peppering them. Keep peppering them. Stay on target. Stay on target. There you go. See? So, but that's a saber, right? You know, that's expected. Take off the saber. No problem. We got a cutty, right? That was our next target. So we're gonna use a little bit of boost to get behind this cutty. We are, like I said, in an M50 racing ship. It is quite a speedster. So we should be able to easily get behind people. Don't be afraid to use your boost. Go ahead and switch back to your boost to make sure you stay up on boost while you're unloading your clip. And then as soon as your clip is empty, you switch back to your, your weapons and then you go back to your thrusters to make sure your thrusters are full. And then back to your guns. So your guns are full. Did we lose target? We did. Okay. All right, get around them. See, we're just we're just peppering on them. Uh, when you're using these repeaters, you do get that little flash of light, and it's kind of blinding sometimes. But that's just the thing you deal with when you're using extra flare. Okay, Shit. extra flare, extra work. <laughs> well, so he got a turn around on us there. We don't like that. We're gonna flip all the way around. Look at how nimble we are. This ship is absolutely amazing for that. So again, yeah, we don't have the best DPS, but man, can we play complete just domination when it comes to turning. Look at that. Complete domination when it comes to turning. I'll tell you, this ship feels absolutely amazing. Its DPS is not fantastic, but it is. <laughs> Let's, should we even bother? <laughs> I know it's a target, so we kind of have to fight him. This is a good indication, right? How long does it take to kill a Redeemer with an F-50? The low tiny repeaters, how long does it take to kill a Redeemer? Now if you had the cannons, it would probably be easier. Oh my goodness, it's just doing nothing. <laughs> Look at those shields, just doing nothing. Make sure you're hitting him in the back. <laughs> in the in the buttocks here to make sure that you're hitting the same part. It works. It just takes a while. It's going down. Do you see it going down? Just a little tiny bit. What is fire enemy? There's something there's not a fire enemy, right? Okay. So we're just gonna keep peppering him into butt. Uh, if we do if he does show his top side, we're just gonna get right underneath him. And look at just look at the capacitor on the repeaters. You could have you have so many bullets in the repeaters. Little server desync, because you see his his shields are red now. So we're working it. I'm scared to fight a hurricane, but even the hurricane, like we're gonna be so fast. What is hitting us? Is there another ship? Or are we on top of a bunker? We are on top of Rios. I think, right? So maybe there's another player here. <laughs> be aware of your surroundings, guys. Don't just be tunnel visioning like I am. I am complete tunnel visioning. But it's okay. We're in an F-50. Alright, so we got his shields down. How long does it take to kill us? Ooh, 
little bit of server desync. But hey, we're playing Star Citizen. <laughs> we're just right on his butt, too. Ooh, we can't really... We have to... <laughs> we're so close to the ground, we gotta be careful. And I'm just full... Full uh, weapons right now because, you know... There is something behind us. What it is that's behind us, I think it's another player. So. Oh my goodness, repeaters are just... Maybe it's that cutty that comes and flies around. What just happened? Whoa. That was crazy server decent. Hopefully he didn't gain shields while that happened. Pretty sure his shields are still down. He's just not taking damage. <laughs> this is wild, guys. Die! Die! Oh my goodness. I think he's red. Yeah, he's red. I'm links down. Oh no. If I get shot in the butt. There we go. We got him. We got him. Got him, boys. It is the Drake Cuddy from just uh, that silly little mission. Alright. So we're off to our next mission, our next target. As you can see, pretty awesome. Um, the ship does great. It just doesn't have that much DPS. And that's okay. So we need to find an OM marker. Let's go back to our ship, right? We're at OM1. That's where we left the 890, at OM1. Don't mind Omega Gamma over there. My boy Omega Gamma has been on my 890 jump for over a week. I don't know why his marker will not go away. But that's okay. The homie can live on the 890 jump as long as he wants. <laughs> He's been on the 890 jump for so long. He's just stuck in the medical bed. We could still use the medical bed with him being stuck in the medical bed too. Like his character is physically not there, but his marker just will not go away. So that's an awesome, cool little glitch. But hey, you know. How do you guys feel about the M50? Leave it down in the comments below. Do you guys like the M50? It is a quick, nimble little beast. It cannot take down reclaimers that fast, but it sure as heck can fly circles around them. And that, that's a win for me. I love this little thing. I love everything Origin. I'm a little biased. Target location, not the OM, please. Other ships that can do this are the Razor. We'll get around to the Razor and uh, other things. Like I said, we're going to do every single ship and we're going to give it a rating. And we're going to kind of just rate them. Honestly, I don't know how we're going to rate them yet. I'm, am I going to do a tier list? Maybe. I'll wait till I get a couple ships in before I start making the tier list. Or I'll just grab a tier list. Obviously, when we get done with this, guess where this ship's going to go? S tier, because it's the only one we've done. Or should we just start it down on D tier? to just start actually we're gonna have an F tier so maybe we need to you know but it's not it's not an F tier ship. Oh my goodness we're killing ourselves. Inverted. There you go. Alright so what do we got? We got a Valkyrie, we got a Warden, and we got a Valkyrie and we got a Hurricane. Alright so we're gonna pull out our missiles we're gonna use Oop, I pressed H instead of G. I meant to press G to tack on more missiles there. We're going to set the target to its engines. Set our missiles to its engines. And we're just going to go in. Yeah, the server seems to not be running that great, but... Missiles land. Hopefully that'll help us soften the target a little bit. 
just gonna we're just gonna get in the sky and we're just gonna hold our shots and just hopefully He's right next to an asteroid, so it's kind of scary. But he's flying so weird. But look at this. Look at me just hold my shots. A little bit of boost to continue holding the shots. Don't get in front of him. We don't even have to worry about getting in front of him because we're in N50. We're not going to be in front of him. We're just too quick, bro. I'm sorry to tell you this, Hurricane, but... We're just too quick. Look, I'm just holding everything to shields. Everything to shields. Or everything to weapons. Because I'm not I'm not taking any damage. They can't shoot me. I've taken a little bit of damage. They, they have hurt my shields a little bit. So we'll go ahead and we'll get our shields up. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Back to weapons. Again, don't look him in the eye. We don't have to look him in the eye. So why would we ever do that? Keep it on target. See, and then the, the size 2 shield bug. Man, if, if that wasn't a thing, you know how much better combat would be? I was doing um, combat with friends the other day, and the size 2 shield bug is definitely a thing when you're playing against friends, like when you're going against players. So, people who are using size 2 shield ships definitely have that silly little advantage. It's not a huge advantage because if you're running a bigger ship that has size 2, most of the time you're going to get shot in the butt anyways. Look at that. It takes forever to kill them, guys. But look how smooth. We're just so smooth. Like, so smooth. What's next? Valkyrie. Missiles. We're just so smooth. It's it's unbelievable how smooth this ship is. Look at this, a little bit of boost, and we're just behind him. I can I've had struggle with you know some of my other smaller ships getting behind ships. It's because they're just not quick enough. But you fly something like this and it's not a problem. So, recommendation on flying this ship, it's not the quickest, obviously, right? Because the DPS is not there, at least with the repeater build. But man, is this not the most fun experience of just toying with these guys? Like, these guys are my bitches. Excuse my language. But they are. Look at me. Just peppering them. What's up, dog? You like these repeaters in the mouth? I don't care if you like them or not, you're gonna get them. Look at that. Mr. Tanky Valkyrie, how are you doing, buddy? Up and around, swing it around, so smooth. So smooth. Just watch out for the asteroids. Up and around, swing it. getting a little bit ahead of us here. We're not directly on his butt, but we can get there. Look at that. We get there. Ooh, somebody's uh, putting shots on us. See, we're also, like, not even paying attention to the other guys. Like, the other ships? Who are they? They can't hit me. The other ships? They can't hit me. Other ships, they can't hit me. They can't hit me. Nothing can hit me. I say that as they start just hitting me. <laughs> Where are they at? Who's there? Who's hitting me? Another Valkyrie. Those Valkyrie turret men are uh, something else. They have been upgraded and have gotten a lot better. So we're going to move on to the next target because uh, it's going to take forever to kill everything in a M50. But I, I think I'm showing clearly its strength. It's it's a monster, guys. The M50's a monster. Now, some people will say, will put it down a lot in the T-51 
tier list or, or on, the, on the ranking system because it just doesn't have the DPS. But, okay, so that's true if you're talking about efficient money per hour. If you're talking what ships make the most money per hour, okay, yes. It's got it's got to take a low a low ranking because it just it just doesn't just doesn't make that money for you. But as far as if you're a good pilot and you can fly the way that I'm flying and you can and you can just fly circles around these guys, it is fantastic. It's like you're dancing. It's like it's like you're in control of everything. You control the universe. The verse is yours. You are in the lead. Even the AI and their cheatingness of being able to flip and do circles like madmen. It doesn't matter. You control the show. You control the flow. You are in charge. The M50 is in charge. I'm glad I went with the repeaters. I do want to try a cannon setup. So, if other people want to try a cannon setup, I do recommend that. It, it, it's cool. It'll do more damage. So we got a Valkyrie. We got a Warden. We got a Vanguard Warden. And then we got a Hurricane. Okay. Our target, I think, is either... It's the Hurricane. Okay, cool. We don't have any missiles, so we can't weaken the target. So we're just going to go full-on versus the Hurricane, and hopefully the rest of the squad doesn't bug us too much. Last time we were fly flying in complete... Sp um, space because we were in the asteroid field. Now we have a little bit of drag. So let's see how this goes. With a little bit of drag, right? We're not particularly perfect now. It still flies like a freaking beast. Alright, I was like, what about the drag? Nah, dude. There's no drag. Look at this thing. They, up they just upgraded the... Uh, the M50's uh, flight ability in uh, atmosphere. So this is a nice little example of how it's now officially a monster in the atmosphere like it should be. Because look at this thing. This thing is just... I'm just flying circles around these boys. Just flying circles around these boys. Quit looking at me. I don't appreciate you looking at me. Crap. It's hard to get see because we're in a dark area of the, of the map. So it's hard to see where we are. We're just flying circles. We're just flying circles. That's all we're doing. Watch out for the rest of the crew, but as long as you keep your speed up, you might have to disengage a little bit here, as it is. I have to disengage a little bit. Uh, my stuff isn't charging correctly, so that's a little bit concerning. Like, my guns aren't charging. I'm powered to guns right now, and they're not charging. That's annoying. But there we go, we got it. We're good, we're good. We're back in the action. Guns will not be charging there. It's kind of annoying. Back in the action. Hit the cut. Ah, oh, it's just so much fun. Just so much fun. Back to the weapons. We'll just stay on weapons because we're full on thrust and we're full on shields. Well, not necessarily full on shields, but close enough. So we'll just stay on weapons. And I'm, I'm even overshooting it, guys. Like, I'm... Overshooting him, but that's okay. Staying on weapons. Right. He's just—he's just having a miserable time. Hey, you know—you know when we're fighting M50s and we're like, "God, that damn mosquito! Get him off of me!" Hey, guess what? It feels good to be that mosquito. <laughs> there it is, guys. Hostile eliminated, job done. Did we kill a warden? We haven't killed a warden, right? So let's kill a warden. Let's 
Look at that. He can't get his nose on us. If, if he wanted to, he, he just doesn't stand a chance. Look at that. Look at this. We haven't killed a warden, so we're just going to take this guy out. A little bit of thrusters here, just to stay behind. We'll swap the thrusters to make sure that we stay as topped off as we possibly can. Oh, that's his nose. I thought that was his butt. I thought that was his butt I was uh, at. That was his nose. Okay. Hello. Oh, what happened to our shields? It's okay. We'll get him back. A little bit of a mistake on putting there. Third person accidentally. I accidentally went to third person though. That's okay. Again, we're in the M50. We're just, we took a little bit of damage. We'll just get it all back up. Damage to shields is not damage, ladies and gentlemen. It's not, okay? Shields are a resource. You use your resources. Just like your thrusters. If you're not using your thrusters, if you're not using boost, you're not using resources. So, use your shields. They are resources. Taking damage to get position is sometimes something you should do. I hate fighting this warden in this thing because I kind of feel like I don't know where his nose is. Like, obviously there's the triangle there that shows me where his nose is, but when I'm flying and trying to shoot him, it's just kind of weird. Look at this. Oh, I, did you see that flip around he just did? That was crazy. That was impressive. So the AI are very impressive with that, but come on. Look at this. I'm a mosquito, bro. But he said, I give up. Just take me out, sir. He said, wait a minute, I don't give up. I don't like your mixed feelings here, Mr. Warden. I'll tell you what, though, guys. When I'm flying this thing, I'm sweating. I'm sweaty. I am a sweaty player right now. I'm putting in my work, flying this thing, flying the heck out of this thing, man. Woohoo! Just peppering him. Ooh, watch that size 5 cannon. Watch that size 5 cannon. Watch that size 5 cannon. I want to get you. Yo, sir. You're trying way too hard right now, buddy. Just admit defeat. Just admit defeat, sir. There it is. All right. Hostile eliminated, Warden killed, Valkyrie killed, two Hurricanes killed, Reclaimer killed, Saber killed. Special delivery. Yeah, no, don't do this to me. It wasn't letting the missiles get dodged. A little bit of server lag. Whew. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. We gotta go to Daymar now, right? Uh, but anyways. That's that's the end of it. We're gonna go and we're gonna land our ship and we're gonna we're gonna do that whole deal because we're on the 890 now and we land our ships on the 890 and we we take them home and everything goes fantastic. But I'll tell you what, guys, that was fun. I was sweating, not sweating because I was scared. I was sweating because this ship is fun and I was just flying. I was. I was flying its wings off. This thing might not have wings anymore because <laughs> I flew them off. They're there. Okay, guys, just letting you know. The wings are there. Okay. But, hey, guys, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed that flying. Uh, hit smash the like button, please, guys. I appreciate every single love you guys give me. Uh, share the video. I flew this ship's wings off. Smash that like button, guys. Leave a comment down below about it. Subscribe if you haven't already. There's going to be a VHRT showcase of every single ship that I can get my hands on in this game. It might take a while. It's going to be a long series, but 
it's going to be there and things are going to change and there's going to be balance changes and new ships and changes to combat and guess what we'll do it again we're just going to be the pve vhrt masterminds around here okay guys so hit that subscribe button and 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 tag that bell so you know when the videos come out and all that stuff so you know when i go live all the things i appreciate all the love guys that was fun again like i said just let me know down below if you enjoyed that one because that was whew, i was sweaty i was sweaty in a good way in a good way all right we're going to take the uh limiter down to normal there and then we're going to pop out our landing gear and we're going to land here on the 890 and that's going to be the end of this one boys oh my goodness that was fantastic it really was so the way we land this ship here is we park it inward into the uh 85x plenty of room here for so many ships on the 890 plenty of room look at that so much room all the things you can do it's amazing Engines it really is engines inactive we hop out of the seat there it is look at them gorgeous fantastic the m50 no bullet holes this thing is a monster well guys we're back on the 890 thank you guys so much for watching like i said there's going to be a video of every single ship doing vhrt tests even the mole even the mole even the vulture everything that has a weapon okay uh, we might do some things that don't even have weapons. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Leave a comment down below what ships you want to see. I'm going to try to go in an order. Like, I'm going to do probably all the Origin ships, and then maybe I'll go down all the Aegis ships, and I'll go down a, I'll go down a list. But we're going to do every single ship. We're going to have a blast. Oh, my God, I'm so glad I started with the M50. That was fantastic. It was a, it was a way to start the show, okay? And when I do the tier list and I do the rating, I'm going to do kind of an overall tier list of fun efficient every, everything's going to be um put into consideration the fun the efficiency the money you can make per hour the safeness all those things are going to be put in it it's going to be it's going to be complicated uh they'll be kind of it'll be my tier list of recommendations that's probably what it'll be okay so we'll figure it out down the road there's a lot of videos to come there's a lot of ships in the game thank you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed all those things leave a comment down below like subscribe this is Astro Manny signing off. I hope you have a wonderful day and adios.